So the first thing I want them to do is to butcher the meat down. Just cut very closely to the rib cage. I'm going to be cooking my pork chop off the bone. If they serve it with the bone, I'd like to see it French trim. Just nicely cut around the top, take away some of the fat and just scrape down the bone. I want them to take the skin and quite a bit of the fat off as well because it's not going to be cooking for very long. Seasoning the pork with some salt and pepper. And go straight into the pan. So now this pan is all about enhancing the flavour of the pork chop. So I've just put some garlic into there. I'm going to put in some thyme, a bit of rosemary. That looks, smells and also sounds fantastic. I'm going to choose my garnish and I'm going to go for these beautiful carrots. They can choose any vegetable they like. I am just looking for a little bit of imagination from our chefs. I'm going to roast those off with the pork and I'm, and I'm just going to throw a wedge of apple in. My oven's set at 180 degrees C and that's just going to nicely keep the butter rolling and ticking over like that. They don't overcook that pork. I don't want dry pork, you know. I want beautiful, succulent meat. OK, to my mustard sauce. One shallot and the chop nice and fine. Some shallots go into the pan. My garlic. We've got three mustards here. English mustard, French Dijon and a grain mustard. They can use whichever one they like. For me, I'm going to use the Dijon. I think... It's got a slightly milder flavour. I think the English mustard is very, very powerful. I'm also going to add grey mustard as well. I'm just going to deglaze the pan with some brandy. Too much. Now add creme fraiche. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm just going to check the pork and see how it's changed. Lovely colour. Pork's had about four or five minutes, not very long. So I'm just going to leave that to nice to rest over here. I always like to just finish the sauce with some herbs. If you got your parsley, a bit of tarragon. And now we're ready to plate. Lovely colours. The pork looks perfectly cooked. I mean, just by the colour of it, you can tell that it's moist. It's not overcooked at all. And there we have it, pork chop with mustard sauce, roasted carrots and a little apple just thrown in for extra measure.